Hi, uh, this is uh, Self. Uh, I've been completing this room in a large amount of steps. Uh, it was the last room of probably one of the worst levels in Trod um, so far. Um, yeah, level 8 makes you meet uh, the Tar Mothers. An encounter that I, uh, yeah. Pretty much, I discovered this is the element I uh, hate the most from the game. But uh, I'll uh, show the demo now. Um, this is going to take a while. So at the start, I was not so sure as to uh, where to go. Oh, uh, yeah. So at the start, I wasn't so sure where to go. And um, well, I explored the uh, possibilities. Um, I basically completed this room over three full days. But you won't see that in the recording because there's a timeout between the number of moves you make. Uh, I pretty much did it uh, one time over a day because I kept dying. Uh, and you won't see the deaths here. So, really a lot less pain. The first time over was probably the easiest to get. Uh, and when I say uh, that I did one a day, uh, basically I had one hour to play the game uh, during my lunch break at work. Uh, it took me a few tries to actually remember where the checkpoints were, uh, which also made it longer. Here you can see I was probably looking at where to go. Uh, there's only one single path you can really take here, because when it is to uh, tar, you cannot cut it. You cannot cut tar on anything that is not flat, angles uh, will block you. So, pretty much this is uncutable, um, because you would not get further than here. And, uh, yeah, to complete a room, all enemies, which are these little living tar beings, and these tar mothers must die. So, yeah. Uh, you want to look for this room into places like these, which have only one block of space here, uh, and two, or three. Because if you have three, uh, you can cut it, always. And here it's doable, because you have two space and three all the way until here. And we can see a bit of a check mark here as well. It was such a relief to actually reach these. By the way, to reach this room, I also had to search for it on the first day for about 45 minutes, looking for a secret everywhere because I couldn't exit the level without completing all the rooms. And this one is uh, mandatory to finish, and uh, it's well hidden. Uh, so I visited probably three or four times every single other room. The, yeah, I don't have full memories of uh, the eighth level, which is Tar Mover and Tar. Um, I believe that you do not see Tar again in the whole game until uh, very late. So I'm looking forward to not having to deal with it. Uh, uh, level 9 has its own specialties, which uh, uh, are just about uh, as tricky as Tar. So this checkpoint uh, is where I've been restarting from today. Uh, 
uh, trying to reach the, the drum. Uh, it took me about an hour to do it. And you're only going to see my successful one. But I made stupid mistakes a lot of the time. Uh, I'm going to upload this later because I'm still fucking happy that I managed uh, to, 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 to do it um, without having to watch any um, any better scores because uh, if you see the first screen oh, I'm not gonna pause it because uh, it would pretty much start from the start here um, I uh, the, the the best record is in uh, 371 moves or something like that. Uh, I'm at 1,000. So uh, I might look it up to see uh, how different it is. But yeah, so this uh, whole thing, um. I've identified only one path that I know of, which was going here, here, back, here, then here, then here, and then back, killing all the tiles. Maybe there's a different path. I'm sure you can go through here, uh, and you can probably cut through here as well and then back here or maybe even through... no you can't here because... actually no yes you can through here but is this cutable? I, I don't think you can cut through here you have to cut through here because this is too bad to... this is too bad to... this is um, not cutable So yeah, um, maybe there's a faster route if you go there, there, and here. Yeah, because there's less backtracking, it probably works better. Uh, maybe I'll uh, load the fastest one. Well, the fastest one is probably not the, the best uh, record because it's gonna be an optimized one. So yeah, I wanted also to limit having um, to go back for the little tar babies. If that's what they're called, tar babies. Um, they're living tar. Uh, everything in this game one shots you if you, they attack you and you don't defend. Uh, oh, and most of the enemies stop by your sword. Should I say most, not all of them? Uh, I believe uh, some snakes don't care. Well, I haven't even tried stalking them with my sword, so. But I believe you cannot hurt them, so. Probably kills you. So, at any rate. Yeah, I thought that the checkpoint was here, but no, it's here. Uh, which is a silly mistake. Um, this is, by the way, uh, Trot the First. This only has one single undo. I have been doing this whole puzzle with one single undo. Every single time you make a mistake, if is not recoverable, which with Live Tar and Tar Movers is a fuckload of times, you have to roll back to the last checkpoint. At least this room had three checkpoints. Because there were some before that did not have a single checkpoint, or one single checkpoint located at the other end of the map, which basically makes the wall situation even worse for you if you take it, because it affects the position of monsters, which can cost you a lot more. Uh, so yeah, uh, time overs are really the element of this game that I hate the most, and I know that there's other tar-based creatures, uh, mud mothers and uh, gel 
Rovers. Uh, fortunately, we're not. I don't think. Uh, Ragel is not in this version. I don't think. Uh, Mud is. But yeah, yeah, he had to, to finish. What I need to do is uh, reach here. And um, I had several times here a problem of uh, cutting my own path with uncuttable tar, uh, which I focused on here and then decided to save because redoing it every single time is such a pain. So yeah, this is a solution run and not an optimization run. Um, probably the best scores that I'm going to find the system uh, are going to be optimizations. There's definitely room for optimization in this score. Uh, yeah, definitely. Here you can hear I've, uh, I've made moves that that do not work. Um, uh, you can hear it before he's actually making grunt uh, noises when he moves against an object uh, in a direction where he can move. Hmm. Sorry. Um, well, I'm not going to edit that much uh, because I would have to restart playing this thing uh, from the start, so this is going to stay in. Uh, sorry. Uh, well. Also, the first time I recorded this, um, half of the room did not get recorded because um, Drod does not record as a game in OBS. I have to capture it uh, as a window. Yeah, which is uh, what I'm doing right now. Uh, I just said it's OBS, it's working. Uh, I had other issues with the quality of the video, uh, where everything looked horrible uh, and stretched. That also I think I have fixed. Uh, at least in the last test recording I I've done. Uh, and when I'm uploading this to YouTube, hopefully it's gonna be of a good quality. Uh, after that I'm going to probably show this as a stream. Uh, probably roaches of the ninth level because that's where I am at right now. I have uh, two rooms of that level left. And it's all about roach stacking. Uh, this game does not give you any information when you right click on an element, um, which can make it tough. Um, but uh, eventually. It seems it wasn't built around it. You can find out by experimentation mostly, so, so far it works. And I'm not uh, too tempted to try and import my save into Draw the ah, Second, which again. has more features. Never again. Yes, never again. Um, I am never going to try and do this room again. It's that much of a pain. There we go. So that was my run. Uh, actually, no, there's 371 moves. Uh, let's... Uh, I don't think you can download that. Okay, this one I can download. Okay. Uh, let's... Watch a successful run by KDD20, uh, which is uh, 374 moves. So, no hesitation at the start, that helps. And he went straight for the same man mover as I did, but he did not save, which uh, I'll say is a ballsy move that you can do if you're not a beginner, which I unfortunately am. And it's rather easy to see as well. Um, so, yeah. Very good movements. No hesitation. And instead of going south, he went through here, which is shorter. Um, 
that is a very good idea, actually. I wish I had foot of that, because when coming from here, I always had to wait for golf here, which I don't think he had to. So that's good to know. Not having to fight around here to... yeah. That's so much faster. I have so much to learn, and I'm certain in the over games I'm going to find Tar again in situations that are worse. But yeah. At least in the new games, uh, you have the, the ability to make Tar transparent so you can see what's under it. And some of it. Uh, I don't remember which version brings it. So interestingly, he's going south instead of north here, which is fine. Doesn't make a difference actually. Uh, yeah, might have been able to record this with uh, Drod. No, this probably has been re uh, recorded with Drod One uh, because uh, that might be why I can't import the other things. I don't know. What is certain is I am not tempted to try and optimize my own run on this, of this because it is such a nightmare to do. Um, yeah, but who knows? Maybe one day later when I have more <laughs> ideas Never again. Never again. Um, and better ideas and concepts on how to fight Tar. Maybe I'll do it. For now, yeah, uh, this um, this is it. This is uh, what I've done with Tar, and I'm gonna stop the recording here. Come on, OBS.